Hey everyone, Austin here at The Real Seal, back again for another shop talk video to talk to you about everything you need to know about crawl space ventilation. Now crawl spaces are the area beneath your floor, usually between two and four feet of space, where all the ducts and electricity and gas lines and probably rodents and a few insects if in most places if you're a regular homeowner, also live. Now these areas need to be conditioned so that you aren't subjecting yourself to bad air in your home, bad air quality. The reason that you will subject yourself to this is called the stack effect. About 70 to 80% of the air that you breathe on a level in your home comes from the level beneath it. Meaning if you're on the first story of your home, 70 to 80% of the air is coming from your crawl space. And if you're on the second story of your home, a 70, 80% of that air is coming from the first story. So if your crawl space is unconditioned and unventilated, that mold and mildew that's going to grow in there is going to change the air quality by rising up through your entire home. You'll know this most especially if you have allergies or people who are sensitive to mold in your home. Biggest things you can do about your crawl space is to have some proper ventilation. Now, before that gets twisted into something that we don't mean, that does not mean, oh, I've got these crawl space vents in my home. Austin, I'm covered. In fact, you're among the least covered people. You're actually doing damage to your home. Back in the day, it was widely thought and still is correct that you don't want moist air in your home. But they thought that all they could do is, hey, let's just open up a hole in the house and all the moist air will pack its bags and head to Albany. But air doesn't act like that. You can't put a deer crossing sign that's somewhere in the highway and deer are just gonna gravitate towards that deer crossing sign. They don't know how to read, neither does water. So the reason that we have these crawl space vents is kind of counterproductive. Just as you're gonna have moist molecules moving out, you're gonna have moist molecules moving right back in. Anytime it rains, moist air is going to come in. You need to give this moist air a little bit of conditioning. You need to train it a little bit. And the way we do that is threefold. First thing that we do is we cover up all those crawl space vents. Crawl space vents, bad. No, 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 we don't want them. We don't want them because they do not provide a one-way outlet for the air. They allow that moist air in and we gotta put that to a stop first and foremost. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna encapsulate the crawl space. Encapsulating crawl space will keep the moisture down. If the moisture in your crawl space is high enough and you actually get flooding in there, you'll probably have to also install a drain tile system in order to keep that water level below the dirt. But after that, you can install the encapsulation, which is going to lower the humidity drastically. That encapsulation is going to be made of a 12 to 20 mil plastic sheeting. As long as it's within that range, it doesn't matter the exact thickness of it. All of it's gonna be impermeable to water. All of it's gonna hold the humidity down. And all of it should come with waterproof seam tape. So that wherever you have a seam, you can seam it up and make a nice, tight, conditioned space. So now that you have the humidity down, the water down, and the vents covered up, there's one last thing you need to do to ensure that that crawl space is ventilated properly and has good conditioned air blowing throughout the rest of your home. And that last thing is a dehumidifier. Now there are different sizes. You don't necessarily need to go and get the big commercial ones that you see on top of the skyscrapers. That's too big. You also don't wanna to go to your big box store and buy the cheapest one they have. That's too small. What you need to do is find your Goldilocks in between. There are different brands that you can search online and you can go to different contractors as well to see what they have available. There are ones that even hook up into your furnace system so that you can put ducts in the airspace and it conditions it the same that it does the rest of the home. There are also standalone units or units that hang from your joists that condition just the crawl space and are sized just to handle that area. And you can even get that vent so that it goes out one of those canceled crawl space vents so all the bad air is going out and none of their relatives are coming back. Once you have the vents covered, the encapsulation and waterproofing systems in place and your dehumidifier installed, you've got a perfectly conditioned crawl space. You can sleep well knowing that you've got healthy air blowing through your home and that you are not promoting the growth of mold, mildew, and rot. If you have any questions about ventilating crawl spaces, the systems that are involved in encapsulating and waterproofing crawl spaces, or anything basement waterproof related, we'd be happy to help you. Give us a call over at The Real Seal, where you know, not everything's better when wet.